I must say I've never heard about food studies. I don't have a clear idea what they are. Uh, but if I think about it, I, uh, I think that uh, the Italian people like uh, um, eating well. So food studies could be how to cook. But if I have to think about it seriously, uh, I must say that could be um, studying food from several points of view. Uh, like um, the food, how the food is composed or uh, how is uh, to eat uh, well. I think it's something that's definitely becoming more popular because people in the States really concern themselves with living a healthy lifestyle. So you always see people seeking out nutritionists or dietitians. And so I definitely think it's something that people are really interested in studying in school too. Here in Italy, we don't have food studies. I mean, uh, we don't have a specific degree for it. Well, at my school, I actually study nutrition. Um, and Food Studies in America kind of looks at how Food it relates to culture and various environments and human health. Of Italy, there's an association called ACUPI, the Association of American College and University Programs in Italy, that represents 150 legitimate, fully accredited study abroad programs operating on Italian soil in 43 cities. him he said you know what do you know about food and education what do you think about food and education and I said you know uh, I know that food from where I'm from is really good that's what I know and I really like to eat uh, my background is communication marketing design uh, but it match perfectly with food so that's that's the beginning when we start um, speaking about food it was at the beginning of uh, the century 2000 in Italy, of course, everybody was speaking about food. There was at that time some great food agglomerates, but generally they were speaking about food as a culinary arts. Um, food runs a lot of things. Food runs economy, food, uh, food runs communication. Food, unfortunately, runs war as, as well. Well, I believe, actually, if we can find, if we want to find the origin of the food studies, we should go back to the past century. With the mass industrialization and the mass uh, production, what happened was that at the end of the century, people had to uh, afford really, as Pier Alberto said, big problems like climate change, like hunger, obesity, uh, no sustainable production system. Uh, food waste, uh, all those like issue were kind of new issue for the society. And so the first step was like saying and seeing if uh, at the university they were like educational system able to teach to young people how to solve those problems. And that was the beginning because nowadays every university in the US has a food studies department. At the University of Illinois, Urbana-Champaign, he said he, they got the ACES department, which is agriculture, consumer, and environmental studies. Like bringing together those three big concepts together, it's actually what the food studies is. It's a transdisciplinary field of study. It's not anymore a discipline. It's just a field of study. There is no food studies in Italy. There is no food studies department. There is no food studies field of study, but there are different studies, there are different disciplines. So the gap was quite clear. We decided to open the first center for food studies in Italy, able to provide a field of study, faculty, resources, networks, uh, places to visit, everything for students that are interested to know more about global and local issues related to food. One of 
big difficulty that we have, unfortunately, is like to find people that can teach in our classes and courses. And because it doesn't mean that if you are a food expert, you are able to teach and you are able to show the real world to the students. So uh, we are proud to uh, select that we were able to select the right people and the right professor. They are all professionals in their field and they are able to communicate to the students and to involve the students in a critical way of learning, which is really important. It's not just teaching something or it's teaching like, you know, theories. I'm Francesco Laurenti, I'm a researcher in Milan at the UM University. My profession is mainly concerned from, what, uh, from the point of view of the research in uh, literary food studies and literature in general. My relation with uh, Gustolab started several years ago. There Sonia was interested by the a new approach of the research I was making and the approach that was uh, actually uh, characterized the studies in Milan at UM University and she asked me to start this experience with her. My name is Christina Bauerman, I'm the chef owner of uh, Romeo, chef and baker in uh, Glasgow City in Trastevere. And uh, I have been working with uh, Gusto Lab for the last um, five years. I've been teaching a, a course called uh, Food and Culture. I, uh, as a professor, try to transmit to students the elements of uh, food culture, food history, uh, which from an academical point of view, but the importance of these, uh, uh, let's say, uh, this experience for the student is mainly due to the fact that it is only living uh, on the field, I would say, uh, this uh, uh, culture of food, the Italian culture of food, that they can really perceive the depth, the importance, the role of food in uh, everyday life here in Italy. Well, food is actually the reflection of the culture of the time of that particular country or generation. So uh, if you study how people eat, it's true, you can understand exactly what country they come from, what kind of lifestyle they have, what kind of culture they have, and, um, and modifying that or the modification of that uh, means basically that there's something that's changing culture-wise. Second, that was totally unexpected is those students become promoter of the Made in Italy and all the products that really define this food culture. Something we took away from the semester, um, I definitely noticed myself buying um, groceries. Like before I went abroad, I probably would buy groceries once every two weeks and everything would last. But now I try to look for stuff that's more fresh and I, I find myself going like once a week instead of every two weeks and I buy more fresh food because I definitely noticed how it's weird how long our stuff stays fresh here because there are so many chemicals in it. And from the other side, from the student's perspective, he happened in the past that the students came to me after the program saying, you know, I got my job, first job, presenting and describing what I did during the study abroad. For us, this is the best, actually, message that we can receive from our students. My biggest takeaway from the Food Studies program at Gusto Lab was definitely the opportunity to be um, a top 10 finalist in the Barilla BCFN con contest. Um, through that, I made so many different connections with people all around the world that I know whether in, if I continue in food studies um, or not, they are connections that I have, professional and personal, and I really would have not have even been open to the Barilla contest. I wouldn't have known about it without Gusta Lab. So because of Gusta Lab, I've made connections around the world and ones that will help me throughout my professional life. My BCFN experience has been great so far. Um, it's really nice meeting people from all over the world in our age group and getting to know everybody else's ideas about our future and how to sustain ourselves in the future, which is really important. So I would encourage anybody in my age range to do it as well. So um, this is an important recognition of the fact that we need to leave our little nests and get out there and realize that uh, there's a whole world out there. Okay, what do we miss about Gusto Lab the most? Um, I definitely miss like like the classroom was, you know, you were doing something different every day. Um, it's not like coming 
class here, sitting in lecture. Um, so I think that's something I miss a lot. Because food are a lot of things.